Hey everyone, welcome to a very special Over a Beer E3 2016 reaction video. Um, right now we are talking about the Microsoft press conference um, that happened earlier today at the time of this recording. Um, my name is Rich. My name is Nick. Um, so Nick, what overall, before we dive in, what did you think of Microsoft? Um, it, was, it was okay. Okay. It was fine. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. We're, you know, spoilers. We're we're recording this after watching the Sony one mm -hmm. too, and I think, like, after I didn't get to watch Microsoft Live. I had to I had to watch oh, really? it after work. Okay. Um, I was I saw all the news before I was able to watch the conference. Um, and so I I didn't get to experience it that way. But like the excitement of a lot of what Sony did kind of squandered some of the excitement about what. Microsoft. Oh wow! Okay. A little bit, like <clears throat> things that I was excited about with Microsoft, I'm still excited about. Mm. Right? Like Gears, like I'm still yeah. very excited for Gears. Gears looks amazing, but I was already really excited for Gears. Sure. Like, so, um, it was it was it was it was good. Okay. It was better than the stuff we saw on day one. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. Um. So you don't? Ha I have an Xbox One. You no, don't you don't have one. Are you gonna have one now? Uh, probably. Which mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about here okay. in a minute. So let's let's um, go through the conference. So first thing they came out with, um, right off the bat, the Xbox One S. So it's the slim Xbox. It's a two terabyte hard drive coming out in August, two ninety nine. Um, I will probably be buying this. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a. The two terabyte one is is two ninety nine. It's it's the Xbox One S. I think is just has a two terabyte. See, I could have swore that I saw five hundred one and two. Oh, see, I didn't see that. Uh, I'll look it up. Okay. Keep talking. Um, one interesting thing that I heard heard later um, was that there's no port for the Connect on this, so they're That's... really just ditching it like yes. completely you have to get a like dongle yeah it's some kind of conversion yeah bullshit so, so that's it's, so it's dead. connects it's dead gone. um and then they announced the the play anywhere initiative or whatever it's specifically called. I think it's play anywhere um which means pretty much everything announced for microsoft's conference was backwards compatible or exclusive to both xbox one and windows 10 and the idea is that you can stop your game on your Xbox and you can take it on the go with you on Windows 10. Um, achievements, saves, all that stuff transferred over, which is really cool if you are into PC gaming or laptop gaming, you know, all that stuff. Um, I don't do hardly any of that, so that's not a big thing for me. Yeah. Uh, but, it, but it's a cool idea. Um, um, it is. Uh, just to clarify what we were talking okay. about before. Yeah, it's 500 gig. One terabyte, two terabyte, mm -hmm. five hundred gig is the two ninety nine. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So how much um, is the two terabyte? It's uh, three ninety nine. <sighs> no. Uh, yeah, three ninety nine. Um, five hundred gig is two ninety nine. One terabyte, three forty nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'll still probably be getting one. But cool. Um, so after that, Gears Four. Yeah. Which looks great. It. I mean, it looks awesome. Um. Yeah. Like. Between the, the Xbox One S and the Gears 4 this fall, I will probably be buying an Xbox One in August. Marcus is back. Yeah, that was that was cool. Widely speculated, but awesome to see him back. I'm so ready for Gears to be back. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait. This is one of the, like, when it was, I remember playing, you know, it was so much fun playing them as they came out. I didn't really play Judgment, and I'm more excited for this than I thought I would be. Maybe it's just because there's so much time has passed, and then I'm like, okay, like I'm ready to dive back into yep. these, this world and, and no, these it looks, characters. It looks great. Um, I have something written on here, and I can't tell what it is. Oh, well. Um, after that, Killer Instinct. I don't play Killer Instinct. They announced um, Gears Commander, somebody from Gears to be in it, um, which is cool for Killer Instinct fans. Uh, Forza Horizon 3, September 27th. Um, I don't really, care. Really, really pretty looking cars. Enjoy. Yeah. Um, and then they went up for ReCore, which yeah. I don't think had a release date no, or even um, a year on it. I think it, it has a release date, though. It's this Does, year. Okay. Um, Let me know, because no, it I wasn't on the... I don't think that they... They didn't say it, it at the, the stream, conference. But it was announced... Uh, I think it comes out in September, but okay. one second. I mean, that would make sense. Um, looks interesting. Um, September 13th. Okay. I'll write that on here. So September 13th is ReCore. 
I'm curious. Um, it doesn't look nearly as high high graphic, high quality. It looks a little more budget no, than... The, the cinematic trailer that they revealed last year, it was like, wow, what is this? Yeah. Game? This looks like we know nothing about gameplay, but this looks really cool. Mm -hmm. And I was left unimpressed. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just kind of like, okay, like, it's interesting. I'm interested we'll see to see more. Potential. Yeah. But I went from being like, wow, that's going to be like a... That could be like a new yeah. foundation of Microsoft's. And now I'm just like, oh, that's kind of a whatever. Yeah. So then we got the Final Fantasy 15 demo which i i really does don't. not yeah i don't care at all that game and i again i think i talked about this earlier but um i'm at the point now where i was super excited and now i'm like well let's see if it gets like a nine yeah <laughs> we'll see what you know um yeah i mean I'm, I'm interested in it but this demo just did not do anything for me I was it's gonna be a really busy time for games i've got a backlog that i just don't see myself needing to rush out and get it day mm, no right now. um so after that came division underground the new expansion for division i'm coming out june 28th i haven't played division i don't think you have either um not since i played i played the beta it was fun um People really talked about it for about a week, and yeah. then nobody's nobody's still talking about it. So um, after that was Jake Battle Hall is going to play the division. Oh yeah, they did, did something about that. That came up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, not, not not at the press conference. I just oh, okay, the news. Okay. Um, then they showed Battlefield One, the exact same trailer they showed for Battlefield One at EA, which was a weird thing to do. I don't know why we needed to see the same trailer again. It looks again. fantastic. It looks great. I'm I never played a Battlefield game, but I'm really interested in this. It definitely looks really impressive. Um, but yeah, we saw this the day before. It's yeah. A waste of time. Um, then they got into Xbox Live. A um, couple interesting things they're adding to that. They're adding clubs, so basically the same thing as communities for PlayStation. Hopefully they're more useful than the communities on PlayStation. Um, they're adding a thing called something like Looking For, um, which is kind of an interesting thing. So it's sort of like if you're looking for certain multiplayer games to play, you can almost not put like ads out but put you know do searches and stuff to try to find players to match right. kind of things that you want to play so which is cool if, if you want to hop into the division you don't know anyone who plays it i'm looking for people to play the division yeah. with me we're i want to do like a i don't know another cool. raids in sounds, division whatever a, yeah yeah basically yeah the, in the dark zone or whatever mm -hmm. um and then there's some kind of idea. some kind of new tournament mode they're adding days that didn't already exist. yeah that's true but playstation have it doesn't have it either so um minecraft they got into minecraft um something called the friendly update and you can play you're going to be able to play cross platform and add something else i don't know i don't play minecraft um not no, a lot no, anyway no, i used no, i used no. to play a lot of it i enjoy it but i haven't played enough to get in any of these I'm updates um then they announced a new game inside june 29th from the creators of limbo um looks cool sure. i still haven't played limbo um then they got into their xbox id series of all their indie games things that are coming up um cuphead we saw a little bit more of that kind of in the sizzle reel for xbox game id still but looks gorgeous still no release date you know it's funny uh if it does it feels like at this point like we're starting to get into that zone where we've been seeing cuphead for too long yeah um so it, it's kind of smart that they didn't show too much of it today especially but if it's not i, I imagine if they don't, aren't putting a release date on funny. it here they know the hype for this game <laughs> We're, it's clearly we're, not we're, ready. We were with a, a buddy of yours earlier, and he was like, you know, I feel like since they revealed it four years ago, and, like, he might have been saying that, like, jokingly, but, like, it was just, like, last year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it has only been a year, but we have, it has been, like, this, we expected to already have it, and mm -hmm. it went from being really excited to being, like, all right, just come out, what's going on? Yeah. Um, and then they it looks, got... It looks cool. Though. Yeah, I mean, it still looks really cool. The wait. the first level that they showed or the first platforming they showed that they just added in, I wasn't super impressed with. It, but It looks beautiful, but it, it looks repetitive. Yeah. I hope that they've put enough thought into the platforming in the actual levels and not just threw it in there just to kind of hope, try to make people happy. Yeah. Um, but maybe that's why it's taking so long, as they're going back in to refine this and fix things and do stuff like that. Um, but the next one that they showed, which I'm really excited about, is We Happy Few. Um, it's kind of Bioshock-esque. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. Like I'm, I'm super into this game. At the, it's a part of Xbox's new, kind of like Steam Greenlight or whatever it's called, almost where you can tre- test games out before they're out and the before they're released and give feedback and stuff like that. And I think this is one of their ones that are coming out soon. Could be interesting. I'm, ex- I'm really excited about this game, um, but that's I believe supposed to be cross platform. I would imagine it's coming because I mean, it was a Kickstarter game, so I. I would be shocked if Microsoft yeah. owns that. Um, and then they should Gwent, the card game from oh, right. from uh, Witcher, which the little bit I played of Witcher, I played some Gwent, and it's cool. I'd give it a shot. Um, but you haven't played Witcher yet, right? Okay. Not yet. Um, Tekken 7, they showed some of that. Yeah, that'd be a cool, like, I, I would like to play it for a weekend type of game. Uh, I really love the Tekken games growing up. Um, no, other than that, I'm not going to buy it. Or no. Anything. It's, not, um, it's not, I don't think either of our thing. But. I mean, I like fighting games, but I've never been huge into Tekken. But I would, yeah, I'd, I did, I'd give I did it... really like Tekken, uh, like Tekken 2, 3. Mm. Um, it's exciting more it's cool. of it, I guess. 2017 for that. Yeah, good, good for those Tekken people. Um, then they showed Dead Rising 4. Yeah. Which looks cool. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Nick's Four. very excited about Dead Rising. Yeah, 4. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it just it feels like three came out not too long ago. Like, it's been a while. It was a lo- it was a launch game. It came out in like 2014. 2000. Was it 2000... a launch game? Yeah, it was a launch game. It was a launch really? game for Xbox One. Really? When did you think it came out? Like, I don't know. 2006. Bef- before that? No, it was a launch game for Xbox One. Um, as you. 2013. I'll be damned. Oh, that's right. Okay, I do remember this. Uh, I just, I don't know. I mean, you know how we were talking about like how we both are very excited for Gears because it feels mm-hmm. like we haven't been to Gears in a while. Like there is kind of a zombie overload, which yeah. we talked about when we did the Sony one. Check that out too, on our YouTube channel. Um, but I'll probably end up getting it. Uh, Dead Rising Three was an Xbox One exclusive. This one is. This not. one is. Is it confirmed that it's not? They well, just didn't say that it wasn't. They didn't say okay. So here's. I don't. I don't. I'm sure it's up for pre-order. The argument that, that I have comes out this year, right? I th- believe it's supposed to. I don't have a date here for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they were very um, specific on the exclusives to say in their trailers, Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusive, and this one did not have that. Um, so I doubt that it's going to be an exclusive. Yep. Um, it, it comes out. Is there a date? Holiday season this year for Xbox One and Windows 10. What that means, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, it's only, let's see, it's available for free on Amazon. Let's see if Amazon has it listed for anything else. Uh, no. Hmm. So I think it might have a early release window. Yeah, I could see it being like the way they did with like Tomb Raider or something or in which case it's a busy holiday away for PS4. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then they should Scalebound Platinum's game that's been in development for a little while. Um, that's 2017. Uh, I wrote here meh. Yeah. Nothing I I usually like, you know, Platinum games not too much recently though. Um, it didn't it really didn't do anything for me. Even the kids just like, "Oh yeah, okay, now it's time to get serious." And he puts his headphones on and yeah. like, "What? Good for you. What is it? Okay." Uh, no, 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 not much of a comment on that. Would claim. Yeah. Uh, then we had Sea of Thieves. Would claim. The rare game. Poor rare. Imagine like <laughs> rare. I mean, it sounds crazy, but twenty years ago <laughs> was Naughty Dog. Yeah. Everything they did was amazing. Everything they did, I couldn't wait for as a kid. And now it's. And now they don't matter. And now Platonic is the new rare, hopefully. Maybe. Um. But yeah, nothing about this. Like the this trailer played, I was like, oh, okay, this looks kind of this interesting. This was never going to be for me. No, from, from when they announced that it was, you know, online like co-op, it's just not something. I was and then there was like do. this let's play of like these. I'm not interested. I'm not, I'm not interested. In like pirates, car- caricature pirates, YouTubers, nothing. like oh yeah, we're gonna. Oh, oh, I don't care. Um, State of Decay 2, 2017 looks cool. Yeah. The first one, I didn't. I didn't play the first one. It, it was interesting to me. I would consider going and playing this if I end up getting the Xbox, which I probably will. Um, then they had Halo Wars 2, uh, February 21st, 2017, um, beta on June 20th. 
I'm super interested in this. Yeah, people people love Halo Wars. Um, I I didn't I never played Halo Wars. It didn't. It just I don't know why it wasn't. I I was always into like it had stra- great cinematics, you know RTSs and those. stuff like that. Um, growing up, StarCraft and like all those American Love Conquest and Age of Imp, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I remember when Halo Wars came out on Xbox, I was like, oh, well, I would, I'm going to wait for the PC because I like to play that kind of stuff on PC and it never came out, so I never played it. Um, and now this one, I'm like, well, if I have an Xbox, I'm just going to get it on Xbox. Um, uh, and if you get it, then you get the first one. It's true. If I can um, play it. But it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much time I would put it you got to put a lot of time in yeah. I don't know if I'd dedicate the time to, to drop 60 bucks on it, but it do, it looks, I mean, it looks more interesting than Halo 5 did. Yeah. Um, it could be interesting. We'll see. And then... I'm like, sure for the people that this is definitely for, they will probably be fucking delighted. Yeah. Um, and then they close out the conference um, with Project Scorpio. Phil Spencer comes out and says, okay, you know, we're trying to... And he's saying all the right things, you know, break boundaries, you know. Of... How great would it have been if, at the end of the Sony one, if they'd come out and been like, you've heard of Neo, it's actually called Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so what he came out. And holiday 2017, we still don't know what it, exactly what it's going to be, or we just know that there will be, it'll, it'll have six teraflops. A lot of those devs were talking on, about how there's six teraflops. I don't know what a teraflop is. It sounds made up, um, but it's got six of them. I even wrote that here, yeah, just to make sure that I could talk that. Um, is a teraflop like is that what we refer to the Warcraft movie as? Because that was a terrible flop. Yeah, I think it's something That's like what that. That means it's got six of those in it. It's got six of them. Um, but no, like this is if they were gonna do this to announce an Xbox One Slim and this. It's a weird move. It's a weird move, and we expected it, but I think they did it the right way. I'm curious to see now how they handle it going forward to try to market this. I don't think they'll mention it for a while, yeah. for a real long time. Maybe not till next D3. I think that what it does is, you know, we were honest with you. We yeah. told you something else is coming. Don't bitch that you bought an Xbox they, One in the mm-hmm. next year and a half. They were honest about it. They were upfront about it, and, and it's put them on the offensive. Like the a couple of the tweets and stuff that I was reading after their conference, it was talking about, you know, this is almost Microsoft hit starting over and going from trying to catch up, trying to catch up to the PlayStation and going, it, we're, this is going to be the most powerful console and we're putting it out and we're back. Like we're, it is, we're starting this fight over. I totally agree. It is that it might do that in a year and a half. It very well could. But that was a lot of, there was a lot of response, like, they, best conference in forever, mm-hmm. this and that. And you know what Sony did for the the next at least year and a half, at least until that thing comes out? They came out and they bitch slapped Microsoft. That's how I feel about it. Because you know what we didn't do when we were covering our, go back and watch Sony? What? You know what we didn't do? Almost never were we, like, not interested in that. Don't care about that. How many games in this Microsoft one? Sure. Were like, yeah, forget But it. there's enough games here, I mean... I agree, but at the same time, there's enough in here that I'm like, okay, I'm excited about enough here. It's a dive. They've Xbox has always kind of had a very. We have we have our racing games, and we have this, and we have our yeah, gears, yeah, and mean, we it, have this, and they great. gotta kind of cover all of it. Like gears is, gears I can't wait for. Pretty much everything else, even the the stuff that like I would get like Dead Rising, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get it for PlayStation probably. But even stuff that I'm like, oh, I'm not really interested in that, but it looks really cool. It looks cool. cool. No, I mean, they're in a good ecosystem, but somehow maybe we just have a different mindset about gaming, but almost everything that Sony did seemed perfect for us. Nearly. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I mean, whatever the Neo is, if it is not, if it doesn't, if it only has four teraflops then they're probably gonna have to reevaluate. i wouldn't be shocked if they're if if they came out and said neo's not going to be ed3 it's real because they're going back they wanted to see what they would do well there was the rumors of scorpio 
Yeah. Already how powerful it was going to be. And they went, well, we don't want to put it there. Let's wait and see them to officially put this out. And let's get our team working on trying to make this thing as powerful, if not more powerful than and you know what Project I say to Scorpio. That? Awesome. Because the Scorpio probably won't hit holiday 2017. It probably will get pushed. And if they had to go back kind of to the drawing board and mm. make theirs better, it means that this current cycle is extended. People yeah. were worried that the Neo, whatever it might be, might come out this year with VR. Yeah. And freaking out. Like, what if this is the shortest cycle? Maybe it's really going to turn out that we have another two years left, and then it honestly is basically time for new systems anyway. That's true. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. You I know. no rush. I love where we're at right now. No, I agree. I can't wait to see where we get to, but where we're at is still fine. Usually at the end of a generation, you're ready for something new. I'm mm -hmm. totally complacent with where we're at. And, you know, they said all the right things, too, with this about it's going to – all your Xbox games are all going to be compatible. smart. All your ecosystems and blah, 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 blah. And even with this on the horizon, um, Zero Dawn, I will still probably be getting the Xbox One S. Because Knowing I don't... that you might have a, maybe a year out of it. Yeah, because I don't play... Even when I have my 360, I didn't play it that frequently. I look at this and I say, okay, Neither I'm going to play Gears. I actually, after this conference, I went and finally ordered Sunset Overdrive. It was 10 bucks on Amazon. And that looked like a game that might be going out of print soon. Maybe. So I picked that up. I, I want to play Gears 4. I would like to go back and play Halo 5, even though a lot of people weren't super hot on it. Rare Replay, Ori, um, ReCore, Cuphead. There's enough there that I, that I want to play. And I imagine when Scorpio comes out, it's going to be back in that $500 price range. Oh, yeah. You can't do six teraflops and not have it be at $500. No. It's going to be at least $100 a teraflop. Yeah, even. so you're going, to, but, you're going to hit six. Yeah, I think what I learned from the Scorpio is that sounds impressive. I don't know what it means. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's going to look amazing, and it's going to force Sony to, to step up their game, which is great. But what, I, what I'm what i sure about, I only got an Xbox One a year ago. I didn't get mm -hmm. it. I waited two years, essentially, to get it. Yeah. Um, and I will definitely wait at least a year and a half, two years for Scorpio. Sure. So that's, that's why I don't mind getting... Because that's the thing. Microsoft doesn't, has not in a long time shown us that you have to get it right away. Mm -hmm. so whatever Sony announced, if, say, Neo ends up actually being the next system, and that's how it's viewed, yeah. because they have to do whatever they have to do, I will get it day one. Mm -hmm. If if it ends up being, like, this weird bridge gap thing, then probably not. Yeah. And then... Scorpio, I guess, is going to support 4K gaming, while the Xbox One S is only going to support 4K Blu-rays. But none of that matters if you don't have a 4K TV, which who knows if I'll even have in 2017. So like I said, like that's not, I don't plan on it. That's not a big deal for me. Um, any final thoughts before we wrap? It was okay. I thought it was a bit overrated. Like I said at the top, I didn't get to watch it live. I was at mm -hmm. work. Um, and seeing reactions from people, I was like, wow, I can't wait to see some mm -hmm. of this stuff. And then I was like, yeah, it's fine. It was, it was okay. Like like I said, the stuff I was excited for, I'm still excited for. Sure. And there was nothing that I didn't know about that excited me. Okay. I think I'm a little more hot on it than you. But that's going to wrap up our Microsoft E3 2016 reactions. Um, what did you guys think? You guys, what are you excited for? What aren't you excited for? Are you going to get an Xbox One S? Are you going to wait for Project Scorpio? Let us know in the comments below or tweet at both of us. You can tweet at me at Rich Belson. I match dogs. The channel's on Twitter at OABeer underscore official. And you can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash OverBeer. Instagram over underscore A underscore Beer. And of course at YouTube.com slash OverBeer where we will be posting more E3 press conference reactions. Um, our Sony one should probably be up now as well. And we may have a couple others coming um, at the same time. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that'll wrap things up for today. Since so next time, drink up. Bye.